students in today's class i am going to explain about the preparation methods of carbonyl compounds already in yesterday's video i explained two methods of preparation today i am explaining from third method of preparation okay so this method is from carboxylic acids we can prepare aldehydes and ketones so in this reaction i am taking calcium acetate and calcium formate okay they undergo distillation in the presence of more temperature and producing acetaldehyde and calcium formate okay you can see two molecules of calcium formate cs uh, calcium carbonate liberating out cso3 is liberating out okay and you can observe uh, here ch3 cho one molecule and ch3 cho second molecule two molecules of acetaldehyde coming out okay next coming to here you can observe two molecules of CSCO3 calcium carbonate coming out. So the aldehydes uh, prepared by the distillation of calcium acetate and calcium form it. Coming to the next method, in this method I am taking calcium salt of acid undergoes distillation and produces ketone as a product. Same I am taking calcium acetate and calcium benzoate. Calcium acetate you can observe it undergoes uh, Distillation and producing out acetone and ketone. Acetone and uh, calcium carbonate. CaCO3 is one molecule and CH3COCH3 is one molecule. Okay, in second method, you can absorb calcium benzoate is undergoing. This is aromatic compound. Aromatic ketones are produced in this reaction. So, calcium benzoate undergoes distillation and produces benzophenone. That is aromatic ketone and you are getting CaCO3 as a byproduct. CH CaCO3 and C6H5CO C6H5 coming out as product. Okay, so next let us see one more method of preparation. So next method of preparation is from nitriles. Okay, so here nitriles means the compound consists of C and bond. Okay, so here we are taking the alkyl cyanide. Okay, and we are reacting with a particular reagent to get the carbonyl compounds. So, firstly, I am preparing the aldehydes. So, in order to prepare aldehyde, I should take the alkyl cyanide. Here, I am taking the methyl cyanide. I am reducing it in the presence of stannous chloride and HCl. Okay, so I am taking methyl cyanide. Firstly, I am reacting it with the HCl. We know HCl can break into H plus and Cl minus. So, what I will do first, I will break this triple bond. So, when I am breaking this triple bond, nitrogen gets the when I am shifting this bond towards the nitrogen, nitrogen gets a negative charge, carbon gets a positively charged. So this nitrogen, negatively charged nitrogen attracts the positively charged hydrogen and forms an H bond. And this positively charged carbon is attracting the Cl- and forming C-Cl bond. Okay, so next step I am reducing with the stannous chloride in the presence of hydrogen. In the presence of stannous chloride, I am reducing it with the hydrogen. So you can see here. I am breaking this one more uh, bond in double bonds. I am breaking the one more pi bond. So one hydrogen is added here and one hydrogen is added here. You can clearly observe CH bond and NH2 bond. So next what I will do, I will do hydrolysis. So I am breaking this bond. I am adding hydrogen this side and OH this side. So COH bond is formed and NH3 bond is formed. Okay. So next step, I will add OH minus. I am substituting this Cl with OH minus. So I will get... 2 OH groups or 2 OH minus ions here. So finally, I will do hydro dehydrolysis. That means I will remove the water molecule from this 2 OH groups. So when I am removing the water molecule, I will get the acetaldehyde as a product. So this is a method of preparing the aldehydes. Okay. In next step, what I will do? I will take the methyl cyanide. So this is the method for the preparation of ketones. In order to prepare the ketones, I should react the methyl cyanide with the Grignard reagent. So I am taking the methyl cyanide, I am adding the Grignard reagent that is the methyl magnesium bromide. So again I am breaking the bond. So nitrogen gets a negative charge, carbon gets a positive charge. So here in uh, methyl magnesium bromide we can say that CH3 is getting partial negative charge, Mg is getting the partial positive charge because Mg is a metal. So I am taking this uh, now this nitrogen negatively charged nitrogen attracts a positively charged, charged MgBr and forming an MgBr bond and this carbon attracts the CH3 and forming a bond okay so next step I'm adding two water molecules hydrogens I'm adding 
to this side OH molecules to this side I'm breaking this two by two bonds so that is I'm, I'm breaking the double bond so you can clearly observe uh, there is a attachment of two OH groups to the carbon okay NMGBR coming out as a byproduct so now I am removing the water molecule from this two OH ions of two from the two OH groups I am getting the acetone CH3 CH3 C double bond O CH3 C double bond O CH3 acetone as a product so this is a method for preparing the ketones so in this way we can prepare both carbonyl compounds both aldehydes and ketones by using nitriles from nitriles we can prepare aldehydes and ketones okay thank you so much for watching